Hi, so I'm Justin from Des Moines. I'm here with Andrew from and North County, St. Louis, about 15 minutes from where all the activity is here. I've been in North County for about 15 years, and uh, was uh, I feel like I had to come down here after the murder in the street of the unarmed 18 year old, and uh, was following it all the time. But as the days went on and the militarization off to my right started, and it just didn't look a lot like America anymore. Yes, Joshua does. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Y'all look out for y'all, brother. Sometimes we have a rough life and we don't do very well, but there's moments we do stand up. There's moments we do get our moments. Thank you, Joshua. God bless you. A crowd comes and she's holding the sign. You got people standing around all over the place. And then they go after her and left me alone. What color was she? And, uh, and the activities of the police chief to make things worse on Friday by beginning the smearing of the, um, of the victim who hadn't even been buried yet, still hasn't been buried. And I thought it would start to upset people again after Ron Johnson had calmed things down, the highway patrol had, had come in and they had taken away the military equipment. Had a beautiful night, and then when he did that, it went south, and it's been bad ever since. He's a Ferguson resident right here. I am a Ferguson resident. Hands up, don't shoot. Because he was speaking his mind. You got to speak in the gun. Hands up, don't shoot. Don't turn your camera. Hey, dude, turn that up. Check him out. Hey, dude, the same. See this right here? Two yeah, they threw this two gas. That's it. Bro, real talk, they ain't playing, man. And then some of them threw them back in the, some of them picked them up, put it back in the truck. It was like, there you go, get them, get them. We ain't in there talking. We had to run, run up in the houses. All this extra bullshit for what? Once I heard talk, we want protest, we want our justice to be heard. They don't want us to be heard because the voice or the people. These problems have been growing for decades. Driving while black, um, feeling picked on. And if you were picked on from the age of 12 through 18, I would imagine this never happened to me. Um, by the time you're 18, you're starting to get pretty angry. And you got a right to be angry. Stop lying to the media about what the fuck is going on. These police is doing what the fuck they want to do to us as United States. I feel like we're finally coming together, and that's just kind of kind of what we need. Everything I feel is, is needed to get our attention. But we not these people not gonna stop until we get justice. They not gonna get no sleep. We not gonna get no sleep until what's right is done. Shit is ridiculous. And if something wrong happens, as it you do, the, the officer if he walks free, this is gonna get worse. So they might want to make it easier on themselves just do what's right. If the verdict just reaches what it right. did with the Trayvon Martin case. Oh, they thought the shit early was bad? Okay. <laughs> okay. It's gonna be worse. This not this street is gonna all these buildings gonna be abandoned. Till he indicted it's a wrap. That's all you gotta say. Until you go get indicted, it's over. Mm.